Hey guys, how are you doing? So in this video, I like to show you one of the most impossible card tricks that I have ever seen. Okay, and the reason for this is that normally when you begin a card trick, people shuffle like this or uh, maybe like this or uh, sometimes they do it uh, in a fancy way like this. But in this trick, it's all different. Where they shuffle is that people turn half the card face up and the other half face down. Now, shuffle them face up into face down just like that now you can see this is a mess right you can actually feel it too going in just like that now this trick is this deck is all mess right if, if i want i can make it even bigger mess just like that now you can see it's impossible why this trick is impossible because it's really difficult to do anything with this, with this deck of cards so i will try but just in case if i fail don't blame me blame the deck so I want uh, one of you to select a card, so I'll spread through, they can touch any card face up or face down, it doesn't matter, so let's say they touch this one, okay, remember that card, okay, now uh, you will ask the next spectator to pick any card, okay, so in this case, let's say they pick another face down card, okay, this one, remember that, and now you can actually see that all the cards are actually facing different directions, some cards are face up, some cards are face down, it's all uh, topsy turvy. you can see. Now, this is what I'm going to do, you can see every cards are facing this way, some cards are uh, face down, some cards are uh, face up, it's all different directions, right, it's all topsy turvy. Now watch, I won't do anything, all I do is just snap my fingers, and just like that, I've done this right. Now every card is facing the same direction, except two cards, and hopefully, they are your selected cards. And uh, that is The Triumph by Kosia Kimlet. I hope you liked it and uh, stick around for the tutorial. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the performance and uh, before I get into the explanation, just uh, one disclaimer. Uh, that is, uh, this version of Triumph belongs to Kosia Kimlet. Uh, I saw him perform it at the Penantella Fools, okay? But I don't know whether the method that I am about to show is exactly the method that he used uh, during his performance, okay? I watched it uh, about a year ago and it completely baffled me and I wanted to do it myself, okay? And uh, this is the solution that I came up with. This may or may not be the same as the one used by Kostya Kimlet, but at the end, I think it creates the same effect, so I think uh, that's all that matters, okay? But at any rate, whether this is the correct method or not, uh, full credits to Kostya Kimlet and uh, you can uh, still do it very practically, okay? So to begin with, you will do all the pattern about the shuffling and everything. And uh, then you will uh, shuffle the card face up and face down. And uh, it is a real shuffle, okay? It's actually being mixed face up and face down. You can also let them, you know, mix, the, mix it up like that. Okay, it doesn't matter. Now, what you are going to do is you will make sure that uh, the first card uh, of the, uh, on the face, okay, is a face down card, okay. So this is the situation that I want to be in, okay. When I spread the card, first card should be a face down card. I will tell you why. Because what you are going to do is you are going to curl okay the underspread curl all the face down cards okay that's that's the method okay we will call all the face down cards now if you don't have a face down cards on the face and now if you do the curl what happens is that it looks like uh, all the face down card just disappearing okay out of nowhere right but if you have a card a face down card on top now it will look much better as you as you do the curl, okay? Now it looks much better. It don't look like it is just disappearing, okay? So you will want one face down card on on top, okay? And now the second thing is, and just in case, if there is a few, maybe two or three face down card, that's okay, okay? We will deal with that later. So we will just leave it like that, okay? Face down cards on top. And now you will spread for the selection and uh, you will uh, spread curl all the face down cards okay i'm um, calling all the face down cards now uh, 
if they touch a face down card okay you will what you will do you should use either you can leave it on the table uh, that's what um, uh, I used to do if when you do it uh, to a real person okay but you can also do it this way if you are doing just show it and continue uh, continue dealing okay now if you are doing this way once you show the card okay in this case the king of uh, hearts um, which is a face down card okay now I want this card to be go in between the face up section okay so I won't call this face down card okay so I will leave it like that and uh, I will continue calling all the face down cards and then ask the next spectator to touch the card and in case if they touch a face up card what I will do is I will call that face up cards okay so that card will go amongst the face uh, face down cards that I am calling okay so now I will uh, continue spreading and I will continue calling all the face down cards until I have reached the uh, the very end and uh, you will uh, speak this as you do and you can also if they are uh, if you have handed out the uh, cards then you have even more reason to keep spreading okay but at any rate they won't give, think about much okay you are simply spreading as you speak uh, now now you this is the situation okay you will have one face up card again amongst the face down section one face down card amongst the face up section both of which are the selected card now to do the ending um, if the cards you will have to uh, reverse one of the portion the back to back portion just like that and you will also need to reverse whatever card is on top okay so if I have uh, more than one face down cards on top this is what I will do I will say so every card is facing same direction and I do that okay I simply turn them face up just like that as I casually play around with the cards and now I have one face down cards and then then the back to back portion okay now what I will do is as I show this I will cut this card to the to the back to back portion okay I will just uh, hold it like this and drop the cards every that back to back portion will drop onto my left hand now I will simply peel this card into into the right left hand and show that it's all face to face and back to back and now I will just flip this card over as this hand come back and then I will turn everything over just like that now I like to show uh, end with the every card face down except the selected cards but if you want you can also end uh, with every card face up except the selected cards that's up to you I prefer to do it this way because I think it looks much better this way so that's just a personal choice and uh, yeah that is the explanation for this trick the the thing is you go, you have to be uh, efficient with the with the spread call okay so uh, that is the only only move in this trick so if you can do the spread call then you can do this trick so anyway I hope you like the effect and I hope the explanation was clear if you have any doubts make sure to ask in the comments and also like the video share and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel I am relatively new to YouTube so your support will be will mean a lot to me so make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, I will see you in the next video take care bye